what's up? Today it is my absolute honor to share with you my recipe for stuffed zucchini flowers or stuffed courgette flowers. It is a truly timeless and traditional Greek recipe. It's not available all the time for obvious reasons. The flowers are kind of, or actually not kind of, very seasonal, but it is absolutely fantastic. And today I'm going to show you how to do this in the traditional way, which is ground beef, rice, and a whole bunch of herbs and aromatics. So let's get right to it. Preheat your oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius and get that off and preheating. Next thing, all you're going to do really is just combine the ingredients for that uh, authentic Greek flavor. Here I've got a bowl with half a pound of lean ground beef. Feel free to use lean ground lamb, chicken, uh, turkey, nah, you can use it, but I mean it's, but basically it's beef or lamb. And to this I'm going to take, in my case, I'm going to do two onions that I'm going to chop. All right, and now that's our onion chopped. Just going to add it to our ground beef and continue on. Now, next thing to go in here is a little bit of salt. You can go generous on the salt, which is fine because it'll hold up and there's actually quite a bit of filling. And a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper will go into this as well. Next thing is where all our flavor comes from. These herbs are from my garden. They may look a little ratty, but you know what? That's fine. So, just finely chop some dill. And when I mean some, there is no real measure of this. So you're probably looking at a small handful of dill. That will go in there and I'll just throw this in there. I'm gonna do a small handful of my parsley. And again, same deal, no real measure, just work it out and just, just finely chop it. And this is your, your whole like, kind of flavor profile or your flavor base. And look at this, look at the color, beautiful green summer colors. Actually, you can do this any time of year, that's totally cool. Let me move that out of the way. And now, this is the quintessential flavor ingredient in most Greek yemista, and it is mint. Mint goes so good that, you know, it's not something that a lot of North Americans use, but once you add it to your recipes, especially your meat recipes, kicks it, like, takes it over the top. And all you're gonna do is just chop these up. All right, perfect. So, our mint is gonna go in there as well. That's perfect. Here's the thing now. I'm gonna add a, about a quarter cup of crushed tomatoes in here right now. I'm going to add about the equivalent to maybe half a cup of rice, give or take, but about half a cup of rice is fine. And a little bit of olive oil for the flavoring and for the seasoning. Now, that's it for our filling or the stuffing of our zucchini flowers. So now, all you're gonna do is, with your hands, manual labor is the best, mix this all up and what a smell. Oh gosh, this, this, is, this is absolutely fantastic. And you don't have to kind of really overwork it, just a little bit real quick. Get everything kind of evenly mixed in there. And a little goes a long way, especially with fresh herbs. You are absolutely going to love, love, love this. Serve this up. And anybody who's ever been to Greece and kind of had these before will, will get their minds blown. Now, here's the thing now. You have to be careful when you're stuffing these. Oh, first of all, 12 inch round stainless steel pan. Square, round, whatever. But for the amount of flowers that I have, a 12 inch should do just fine. Just gonna grab a teaspoon. And by teaspoon, I mean like 
a like a milk spoon or something like that, something small like that. That's what I was taught, that's what they're telling me. The flowers I got from my mother's garden, and here they are. And you can see here the way they are inside. You have to clean out the the pestle or the, the, the stamen that's in there, whatever. Clean it out, wash these, and you're good to go. Now, don't go all Iron Man and berserk on these because they're super, super delicate. So, we're going to take these, you're going to take a small amount of filler, and you're just going to put these in here just like that. And you're going to close up the flower again, like this. And it's done. Don't overstuff your flowers, my friends. You are going to be sorry. Because remember, we have rice in these. And they are going to... Be, it, it'll expand. But you just fold them over like this. And you continue on all around the pan. Clearly, I'm going to be here for a while. So I'll get to this and we'll take it from there. Now, that is probably the hardest and most labor-intensive thing you're going to do in probably a while. Now, in order for the rice to get done and cook and the meat, the ground beef, to, to basically cook, you're going to need some kind of a liquid. And for this, I am going to be using about one cup of crushed tomatoes and one cup or so of water. Now, here's the thing, and I'm trying to be very, very careful because, you know, liquids and me in the kitchen. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna really quickly just beat this up, mix this kind of the best that I can here. And what I'm going to do is literally, literally pour this all over my my flowers and here clearly I need more liquid the whole idea in your pan is to get roughly about half an inch of water at the bottom of your pan it may sound like a lot but it's really not because the rice will absorb that in the cooking process so get that in there just like that so that looks about right there I'm gonna do another little drizzle of olive oil for flavor and this is the money shot right here a little bit of more salt will go in around this and lastly a little more pepper and now this is ready to go into our oven now this is gonna cook at 400 degrees for about an hour uncovered so see you in an hour Alright, so it's been in the oven for an hour and I took it out and I let it sit for about 10-15 minutes now or so to just let everything kind of reconstitute and it smells, my whole kitchen smells fantastic. I'm really, really excited. And now, no time like the present, I'm going to give this puppy a whirl. Time to get down to business. Look at these little, these, they are so delicious. Look at this, absolutely perfect. Mmm, mmm. Oh my God, this is right, this is right out of my mother's house as a kid growing up in the summers, you know, they'd have a little vegetable garden and she'd pick the flowers from the zucchini and it's just, it's exactly what I remember and it's exactly what I love. My friends, definitely do try this. This is a recipe that, you know what, it won't come along very often, but when it does, believe me, your train pulled in. So that's it for this episode on my 
Greek style stuffed zucchini flowers or Kolochitholuluda yemista or courgettes or courgette flowers stuffed. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please smash that like button. I hope you like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this recipe because you know what? This is one of those rare recipes. Uh, you don't find it anywhere. Certainly not. Even in Greece, you won't find this all the time. It's very, very seasonal. But if you do, or you happen to find uh, courgette or zucchini flowers, my God, try this. And until next time, again, I thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.